NBC5 News weather forecaster Aaron Nilsson here. Thank you for choosing us once again, checking out the weather weather online. As you notice today, you see behind me the satellite and radar. It was quite a bit of rain that passed through. Some clouds is a little bit cooler. I enjoyed it greatly. Hopefully you did too. It's going to be good for not having to water things as much, although it's only a day. It's not going to make a huge difference. But it's good and we probably got a little bit of snow as well in the higher elevations. They're really high resorts probably in mountains, which is going to help anything that we can get. And you see that passing through throughout the day, getting that pretty much the whole area getting clouds and it was a pretty widespread storm. Chances are slight in the next couple of days. We do have it overnight, possibly there until tomorrow. 50% for Tuesday. Probably not going to happen. It's really going to clear out, should be clearing out. And after that, there's really nothing happening. For the coast for tonight, we're looking at rain could be heavy at times. Windy gusts upwards of 21 miles an hour, low 50s for the lows. Tomorrow, the highs look to be in the 50s and maybe down to up to 60 with Bannon and Gold Beach. 50% chance of rain in the morning is that storm could kind of get stuck up there on the coast. Some of it will come inland, but it will just be breezy for you. The West Valley's for tonight. Late rain, breezy, 20 miles an hour for tonight. Those are going to be in the 50s. Everyone in the 50s for the lows. Tomorrow, the highs still not warm at all. Tomorrow, I'll take it. Looking to be upper 60s and low 70s. 30% chance of rain in the morning. That will disappear maybe around 8 or 9-ish. And then 24 mile an hour wind gusts could be more Ashland. And then California experiencing those. As we look east of the Cascades, you have some gusts as well. Even a wind advisory for Lake County starts to tonight at 11. We'll go until 5 p.m. tomorrow. Late rain chance, 20 to 34 mile an hour wind gusts, 39 for Crater Lake, down to the 40s for Chamult Christmas Valley, otherwise low 50s. Tomorrow looking at 60s, Crater Lake only 48, Chamult 57. AM rain possible, windy, and then the gusts a little bit stronger, 33 to 44 miles an hour. I said it would clear out Tuesday, and it should right there. Breezy Tuesday, Wednesday, well, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then pretty hot as we get up to upper 90s by Friday. Back down to 92, down to 92 on Sunday. Hmm. No matter what, it's going to be the 90s, and it's going to be hot. Be careful what you're doing. Be aware of that, what you're touching. Klamath Falls is going to be hot and dry starting Tuesday. You'll get hot in 90s Friday and Saturday. Back down to 87 on Sunday. But those gusts for tomorrow as well, the 24 miles an hour. Looking at Northern California, slight chance of thunderstorms on Thursday, but a pretty sunny the entire week, and it'll be hot up to the mid 90s Friday and Saturday. And finally, for the coast, you only have the one chance for rain yourselves right there tomorrow, 30% chance, otherwise mostly cloudy on Tuesday, and then the partly cloudy or pretty sunny Thursday and Friday. You're hovering around upper 50s and about 60 should be about your high. Your lows, a few days in the 40s, but pretty much there around 50.